How's it going, Linfam fans? Welcome to another episode of Linen Subscriptions. Today we're checking out Disney vs. Pixar by the channel Ms. Mojo. I personally prefer Pixar, they're just a lot more original. Like Disney, uh, pretty much all their movies were based off fairy tales. Where the Pixar create original characters and stories. And now Disney are just remaking the, the movies they already made that they already ripped off. But anyway, let's see what they have to say. I'm curious to know, so let's get started. Miss Mojo. Which of these two animation titans stands taller? Welcome Pixar. To Ms. Mojo and today Stay awake and go against the animation against each, each other. other to see which is superior. Okay, I'll, I'll stop trying to say it, to say it with them because I don't know what the fuck the words are. Before we begin, we publish <sighs> See, I hate it so when channels tell you to subscribe before the video even even starts. It's like, no, you have to watch the video first. Both of these studios may be owned by the same company now, but their styles are distinctly different. Very different. Round one. Animation style. Okay, yeah, Pixar definitely Pixar wins this battle. For, for sure. Animated films, which they've specialized in almost I mean, Disney started out hand drawing stuff, and Pixar started straight away with pre animation. So I think Pixar wins Pixar this one. Especially excels at creating gorgeous realistic textures while still allowing for fluid movement. That looks so realistic nowadays. I know where that is. That's the exhibit located right next to. I don't care. <laughs> Jeez, that's are mean. Also top notch and are almost always inventive and distinct. Yeah, that's true. A great deal of variety cockroach. Franchises. That's sad. Hey, you're the only thing left with a cockroach. While the animation of their early films is somewhat awkward by today's standards, especially when it comes to the human characters, Pixar helped set those standards, and their first films can still be appreciated. Okay, what about Disney? Though? Disney is an absolute giant in the world of animation. The company's work sure in traditional hand-drawn animation is among the most prolific throughout the world. Yep. Oh, Peter, it's just as I've always dreamed it would be. Disney's style has changed over the decades. Sure has. It arguably reached its peak in quality during the 1990s, at least in terms of 2D animation. Yep, I agree with that. Everything the light touches. Lion King was not the only good one. Their work in and then it was all trash. It's taken them a while. Their later efforts rival even Pixar's quality. For all its strides in animation, though, Disney has not been without its missteps. And when they've fallen, they've fallen hard. No. Just ignore them, and perhaps they'll go away. I don't think Pixar has any failures. Linden, what about Cars 2? And while it's not a knock against Pixar, we do feel that Disney's greater variety in media gives them a slight advantage. Securing them the victory. A uh, what? No. Disney. Piss off. Round two. Characterization. Yeah, definitely Pixar. Pixar. Pixar definitely wins. Are complex creatures. Because Disney hardly make characters. They just rip stuff off from other movies. Sometimes literally. They're rarely without fault. And oftentimes they True. contend with their own choices as much as with an external foe or threat. Their fears and desires are on full display. Helping make them sympathetic so sad. and giving the audience greater insight into their motivations. This complexity extends to the heroes and villains alike, adding some nice shades of grey to both sides that makes the heroes not entirely so. good and the villains not entirely bad. But by then, it was too late. Oh yeah. That's such a sad scene. She gets a replacement. Forgot about that one. That isn't to say that Pixar is entirely without one-note characters, though. Some of their comic relief can come off as pretty flat. You are yep. to bring excellence and professionalism to this competition. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, this wasabi. Because he thought it was Disney characters ice cream. towards archetypes. The protagonists are good and the antagonists are bad. And faults among the former and sympathies for the latter are few and far between. While the motivations and desires of the characters are explored frequently through song, they're not always relatable or emotionally driven. Yeah, true. So they can still come I mean, Pixar's so good at pulling at your heartstrings. Get our meaning. Disney has made steps to give more depth to its characters recently, though. And we'd be lying if we said that Disney didn't have some of the most memorable animated characters ever. You took the heart for them. You did. Oh, don't tell me when I win again. Despite Disney's many excellent characters, we have to award this round to Pixar. Yeah! Pixar! Most Woo! Of are. Winner, Pixar. I am 
Before I let this company die. Who's getting in my way? I, I haven't seen one stink that much, that many times. Pixar films are primarily set in some kind of variation on modern day, whether it's a child's bedroom or under the sea. Bunch Bob Square Pants. Modern, I don't think so. What about Brave or The Good Dinosaur or Monsters Inc.? While there are plenty of fantastical elements, everything from superpowers to things yep. talking that shouldn't be able to, Pixar stories <laughs> usually feel grounded in contemporary experiences. Fucky! This lends itself well to world building, since the real world is often used as a jumping off point, helping the settings feel expansive and lived in. Even so, this kind of intricacy can backfire sometimes, as it can invite all sorts of questions about the nature of the worlds involved. I'm Mia, I'm Mia. We're like your biggest fans. I'll let flash him. <laughs> <laughs> Very subtle Modern joke. Movies, on the other hand, favor more fantastic settings. Disney's bread and butter has definitely been fairy tales, which are yeah, for sure. in the past or in fantastical worlds. Yep. I had a world of my own. What was that movie called where it was an animation and then she fell down a hole and she ended up in the real world? I can't remember what that was called now. But that's a prime example of that. Well, it's such a terrible world movie, like, seriously. Which, in addition to being mainly in non-contemporary time periods, is also the result of a lack of locations. Though the latter was probably a symptom of the limitations of traditional animation. Even so, Disney has featured some spectacular locales. And their computer animated films have since taken some notes from Pixar's strategy. Sure has. That's why Pixar should win, because they stole ideas from them. Disney's fantastic settings, isn't always believable and Pixar makes us believe yes 2-1 to Pixar it does hell yeah things a bit too Bing. Sometimes. winner Pixar round four music oh here we go ah uh, Disney definitely wins music no question about that Pixar's approach to music is one that is favored by many films using an instrumental score to illustrate most scenes as well as a few oh right hang on a minute so if we're talking about background music then maybe not actually if we're talking about musical music, then they pick the, Disney definitely win that round. Meanwhile, Disney's approach to scoring their films is most often, though not always, centered around musicals. Yep, that's what I was talking about. ...used to establish their personalities or to move the plot forward, often with a choreographed dance or other visuals. Does have movies that aren't musicals. These have some memorable soundtracks too, a couple. but they're never quite as catchy as those that are. Given that their songs can stay in our heads for decades. No Where did that come from? I'm not sure. What was there a crab in Disney? I can't, I, I can't remember a time when I saw the, the crab. Pixar features some truly excellent music. Disney simply has it beat in terms of quantity and catchiness. Goes to Disney. Ooh, two, two, two. Yeah, I knew, I knew that would win that round. Disney. Who's gonna win? This is the last round. Legacy. Ooh. Pixar is one of the pioneering animation studios for computer animation. They are the pioneering. Caught the practice by demonstrating its potential through smash hits like Toy Story. Yeah. Just falling wheeze dial. Infinity and beyond. Pixar's films have been popular with critics and audiences alike, and even their less beloved films have often been successes at the box office or through merchandising at least. Wow. You are about to become the biggest brand in racing. Pixar's record of success and overall general quality are exceptional. But 100%. So, given that the company was founded in 1986, 
and obviously hasn't been around as long as Disney has. Disney is also a hugely influential animation studio, popularizing animation in film as well as in general. What was this movie? I don't think I've seen this. Throughout its near century of history, Disney has thrived for excellence in animation. Baby. And has inspired its competitors, including Pixar, to do the same by setting the bar so high. Though for many years, they were the only game in town. True. Granted, they've had some rough patches. They're probably like one of the last companies to actually start making computer animated films. subpar direct video sequels. But any oh, that's, yeah, that's this right. Oh, God. To have some failures along the way. That's right. The VHS movies. So that were... Because they were so bad they didn't even make it to the cinema. Because even miracles take a look at that. This was a close call, but ultimately we had to choose Disney. Pixar may have an excellent track record what? and influence over computer animation, but Disney's been around three times as long. And without it, we probably wouldn't have Pixar in the first place. Winner, Disney. I don't agree with that. Boo! Alright, I've got to do it. Since they made a bad decision, so you guys get 100 dislikes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you'd like to be sure to click like, subscribe to my channel so you can get next, the next episode of Linear Subscriptions. Lim fans is ready to click there. Check out LaCroix over here. Or check out last week's episode of Linear Subscriptions over there. And until next time, I will see you tomorrow for another episode of Linear Subscriptions.